Hey guys, thanks very much for kicking on the video. Welcome to another episode of TA Outdoors. I'm here at my bushcraft camp with my dad and we are cooking up some good old fashioned fish and chips. Well, fish and saute potatoes. But before we get into what we're actually cooking here, just gonna show you some footage. We're gonna go see how dad actually caught this fish and how he prepared it ready for what we're doing today. Well, people, I'm out here fishing aboard High Sea Drifter. This is our company boat. Here is our logo, the totally awesome fishing show for those who've never seen it. We've had over 30 million views. Somebody must have seen it for sure. I have a bite on here. I believe he may have inhaled it now. Go ahead, David. How rude people interrupt like that. I'm going to wheel it in and see if we've got a dogfish on the end. I'll come over there, pal. I'll come over there. Come, quick. I'm trying to make a film here. Well, I'm just about to go over the danger area, so if you finish my drinks, I'll be with you. <laughs> Off. Excuse me. Oh, dear. Being a film producer, it does have trials and tribulations, you know. Let's see if we can get Mike's dogfish for his campfire. I've got a feeling he should be on there by now. If he's not, I'll look really stupid. He's on there, buddy. Oh dear, he might not be a dogfish. He had a total dogfish bite to it, but he's got a bit heavier now. Well, 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 well. Dogfish are a bottom feeding sort of sharky warky thing, guys. For those bushcrafters that don't know uh, it's the slightest thing about uh, fishing, dogfish is a bottom feeding, well, it's a dogfish, but it looks it's like a shark to most people that uh, understand fish, they know what a dogfish is. This is pretty sure this is a dogfish by the way, it's spiralling through the tide. Now it doesn't look dead, trust me, it's dead. It's only nerves, I've got to rinse him off. For those of a squeamish disposition, look away now. And for those who uh, get all their meat in plastic bags in the supermarket. Now these have got very, very rough skin, I'm going to show you. It's smooth one way, rough the other. Learn something, learn how to survive. If you could only catch dogfish, you would be doing this, trust me. And it rips off like this all the way. Do you know what it's like? Skinning a snake. And there you can see is the skin, which you clean this meat off there, and then you dry it and you can, yeah. I'm actually, look, I'm going to sand a piece here. I'm going to show you this because nobody would believe me otherwise. Look what that's done. Can you see that? There's the stuff I haven't done. There's a bit I have done. And that's without drying it. When you, when you dry it, the denticles seem to stand out even more. Look at that. <laughs> I should have bought a tin of varnish with me. Over the side clean up the inside but this stuff is really good they say you sell it in the uh, fish and chip shops in England I suppose they still do actually in fairness you to call it hus I think and you get a sort of ammonia content in there so it's best left put in the fridge overnight anyway rather than eating fresh that's old school all tidy that now all I'm gonna do is wash that because I'm packing up in a minute anyway lovely meat there's just one bone down the middle and you can actually well we have used to give our jack russell the bone on the middle because they crunch it up it's not like a fish bone fish bone there's enough meat there look at that to feed two people in the cooler and next step campfire Never had dogfish before. Have you had it before? Yeah, yeah, I used to have it when I was younger. Nice. Oh, that's beer batter. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm. That's that is really nice batter. Mmm. That's really nice. We didn't put lemon in it, did we? No, no lemon this time. Got a sort of lemon taste to it. It's actually a very kind of fluffy meat. It is fish and chips. It's exactly what you get. It, it's really fluffy meat. So they used to do they give these at fish and chips? Yeah. Yeah, years ago, it used to be called a hus, and it was bull hus. 
But you can see, guys, that fish and chips there. English as close as we're going to get to fish and chips. Yeah. Fish and sautés. <laughs> but there is one cartilage down the middle of that. It's not loads of bones, it's one cartilage. And we used to give that, you can give that to dogs, as I understand. Well, we always used to, and our dogs lived long enough. We right. haven't got jacks here. <laughs> no, yeah. but you can, because they can crunch that. They love it, they love it. It's soft enough for them to crunch. Oh, yeah. And like a bone bone. That is really good. Add some ketchup, left it at home. That's that's the meat there. We said it's autumn. <coughs> we can hear the Canada geese, can't we? Yeah, flying over, and that's always a sign of autumn, I think. Just stop raining. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that bit of fishing that Dad did there. I have to admit, it's a really, really tasty fish, and I've not had dogfish before. Caught them loads, caught loads of dogfish before. They're very common, really, over here, aren't they? I'm eating it like uh, <laughs> barbecue on. ribs. Yeah, yeah. He's stripping it. You're going to leave nothing. Yeah, well, but leave the bone. What I did to uh, to cook this is we actually got this from our friend Wayne, who's been on the show recently on TA Outdoors. He was in one mm. of the videos where he went through a mackerel gutting and filleting. So what I did was, with a mixing bowl, poured in some plain flour, then some salt and pepper in a little kind of survival container I made out of two Coca-Cola bottle caps that were reversed. There's a video on my YouTube channel, I'll put it in the link in the video description below if you guys want to watch that video on how to make it. So I put salt, pepper, plain flour, then I poured in the beer. We used ale this time, but you can use, Wayne recommends using lager because the actual bubbles in the lager mm. tend to help basically aerate the batter itself, but ale's okay and it's in a can, so it's kind of carb, you know, carbonated, is that a word? I don't it, it, it's got bubbles in it slightly because it's in a can. Yeah. So mix that in and you need to get it the consistency really of gloss paint. So if you imagine gloss paint is fairly, fairly thick, uh, but it's also, you know, you could drip it, you, as I was lifting that fork off, it could drip off as well. Mm. So that's the kind of consistency you want. Then we, I cut up the dogfish into three small parts because they needed to fit into the mess tin. Um, I basically based them in the, the batter, made sure they were completely covered, and I lowered them into the batter itself with some tongs, obviously, to keep my hands so they didn't get as mm. hot. And also, if you lower it in slowly, if you lower it in too fast, it will stick to the bottom of the pan or the mess tin. So I lowered it in slowly so that way the batter can kind of pre-cook itself as it's going in, mm. and that way when it touches the bottom, it doesn't actually stick. You cook that for about... Five minutes, probably. I yeah, say five. It depends five, on the heat of the fire. Five really. to seven minutes. Yeah, all the temperature of the fire will vary as the flame goes down. But about five to ten minutes. And also with the Soto potatoes, they're just parboiled, really, aren't they? Yeah, you've sliced up, parboil them, yeah. and then you slice them. And then parboil them first. Slice them relatively thin. I was just using the open L number eight just to slice them. Mm. And then we just plonked that in some oil on the pan on the fire. It's dead easy meal, and you get to save some beer for afterwards. Got the beer, and we got another batch of uh, sautés yeah. going on there. So we got chips again, and I've got another little bit of fish left over. Well guys, thanks very much for watching the video and clicking on it. If you're still with us, we really appreciate it. If you enjoy fishing, definitely check out our other YouTube channel that Dad runs called TA Fishing. There's a link in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching. Well, before we close out, Mike thinks we closed out. No. Yeah. Little surprise. Oh, what now? It's a cooking program, this one, isn't it? Not another skull, is no, it? I'm going to cook you something up. Okay, go on. He wonders why I put these things down here. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah. This is what we're going to do, guys. Just hold that saucepan there. <laughs> what is this? Now listen, everybody in the world has had some of this. I mean, I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> everybody in the world will know what I'm talking about here. I would think... <laughs> what the? I would think they're going to... Uh, they're going to appreciate eating this because we've all had to... One more to go. We've all had to eat some of this. It's a stew. <laughs> I'm making Michael a stew. Everybody's what had some this? of this. Nothing there. It's a special name stew. Okay, so we just stir it up. So you ready to eat that? There's nothing in there, Dad. You know what it's called, guys? That's called politician stew. And do you know why? Because it's absolutely <laughs> all in it. Totally empty. There's not even hot air in there. Am I right? Am I speaking with a full ton politician stew? There's absolutely <laughs> politician stew. There's nothing in it. You know what I'm saying, guys? How many agree with me? Brilliant. I did not expect that at all. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You can send me the pills later. <laughs> <laughs>